Welcome back. We're here at session number three to talk about how the flexible variosis line does not sacrifice the aseptic filling technology. Yeah, we've seen a lot of advantages, whether it's zero loss technology, 100% in process checks, and then also restoppering activities. You don't lose any of that technology with this small scale variosis equipment. So before we get too deep, I think let's get Andre from Bosch and Stroll on the line and get started. Hey, Alex. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Andre. So the first question we have, there's a myth in the industry that using modular filling technology that you lose some capability along the way. What do you think about that? Is that true in your case? With Bariosis, as you know, we use a process that is container specific. So we can move modules in and out that transform the line from one process to the other based on your daily needs. Um, biofilling uses a dedicated bio module. Syringe filling uses a dedicated syringe module. And in addition, you have more flexibility because you have the option to introduce ready to use components or use the washer tunnel for a batch process. Can you give us any specific examples for our audience? Yeah, as another example, um, the machine will, will detect with the sensor if a stopper is in the right position and alarm if it's not, slow down the machine process and do a restoppering. In a nutshell, advanced uh, fill uses the precision scales and a computer algorithm to control the filling systems. So if it's a peristaltic, time pressure, rotary piston pump, the scales are really what is in control of your filling process. So Andre, how is it that the system reduces line loss? So yeah, line loss minimization. Um, again, this is a feature from the advanced fill technology. So instead of cycling the machine to prime the tubing and the needles at the beginning of a batch and fill into containers that are then rejected, the filling needles are positioned directly over the scale, uh, which the POC then initiates the automated teach-in program. The teach-in dispenses small amounts of the liquid into the vial until we reach the fill tolerance. So the first vial is going to be a good vial. So quantifying that depending on the batch size and the fill volume, I think you can easily save uh, about a liter from a batch. That's really interesting. And further with variosis, it's really situated perfectly for the current you know, environment where we see a lot of development going on across the board for different medications, you know, cutting edge medications that we're really excited about as, the wor as a world, um, but also just for small batch, more individual uh, medications. So we really see this as the future um, for, for our platforms, not just, you know, moving this into a, a commercial line, but having this actually be the main line for a facility. Well, that's a wrap for session number three. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please join us again for session number four. We'll be talking about customization.